Hello Duelists and welcome back to the Crown Corp channel. The last two weeks I've been working on adding all the models from Yugi's deck to the Smart Duel Gazer, and the deck is now also usable in the Smart Duel disc as well. I've also made it easier for players to test the current version of the app. If you'd like to test Project Atem yourself, please keep watching. It still might be a bit complex to set it all up, but we're going to make it easier and easier over time. If you want to test the app right now, there are three things that you'll need. The first thing you need is a computer can be either a Windows computer or an Apple device. It probably also works on Linux, but I haven't tested it. The second thing you need is an Android device which supports AR Core to run the Smart Dual Gazer app. You need a device which runs Android 7 or higher. And then optionally, the third thing you need is another Android device to run the Smart Dual Disk app. You can technically run both the disk and the Gazer on one Android device, but to make it work, you would have to switch between the apps, and it's probably a lot more fun if you have two devices. The first thing you need to do is download the latest version of the Smart Duel Gazer on one Android device. You can find it on my GitHub profile, but I'll also leave a link in the description so you can find it easily. Head over to the GitHub repository, find the latest release, and then download and install the APK file. The second thing you need to do is download the latest version of the Smart Dual Disk, preferably on another Android device. Again, go to the GitHub repository, link in the description, find the latest release and then download and install the APK. When you've installed both apps, it's time to set up the Smart Dual server. We intend to host a server in the cloud so you don't have to worry about it, but for now, you'll need to host a server locally. I'm going to show you how to do it on both Windows and macOS. On Windows, open a browser and go to the downloads page of the software called Node.js. Download the latest version and install it using the wizard. Then next, go to my GitHub profile again and look for the Smart Dual server. The link will also be in the description. Go to the releases page and download the most recent zip. Then extract the files from it. Find the location where you downloaded the Smart Dual server, hold Shift and then right click the folder. This will give you the option to open the project in a PowerShell. Now to let the server run, you first need to type npm install and hit enter. As soon as that is done, you need to run node server.js. You'll see a message saying that the server is listening on port 52300. If you got this far, then great job, the Smart Dual server is now up and running. There is one more thing you need, a piece of info, uh, and that is your local IP address. For this, open the command prompt and type in ipconfig. You'll now be able to see your local IP address, which you'll need later. If you're on macOS, setting up the server is about the same. Firstly, you need to head over to the downloads page of Node.js and download the latest version. I'm not going to do it right now because I've already installed it. Then, download the Smart Dual Server project from GitHub and extract the folder. Then, open a terminal and navigate to the location you've downloaded the Smart Dual server in. Then we do the same thing as on Windows. We first run npm install, and as soon as that is done, we run node server.js. The server is now up and running, and you've also downloaded the Smart Dual disk and Gazer. So now it's time to connect all these apps. I'm going to show you what it's like when I run the server and connect the apps on my MacBook, because that's how I always do it. 
If your server is still running, there's no need to do anything, but I have to start it up again. Um, so you see that uh, the server is listening on port 52300. And then in the dual gazer app, um, you, you have to go to the dual tab and fill in the port it's listening on. So 52300. And when you've done that, you need the IP address. I've already shown you how you get it on Windows, but on Mac OS, you have to go to network preferences. And then you'll see your local IP address of the network you're connected on. So just fill it in into the IP address field and then click on Speed Dual Demo. When you've done that, you'll see that the playmat appears with Yugi's deck that's loaded. And you can also see in the terminal, uh, it says socket connect, uh, and then the idea of the socket that connected. So that's how you know that the dual disk is now working together with the server. Now we just have to do the same thing on the smart dual gazer. So pick your second phone or open it on the, on the same phone if you only have one. And the first screen you'll see is something similar as in the dual disk. You have to fill in your IP address here, just the same value as before. And then also the port, which is also still the same. Then you click on connect. And then you'll see in the terminal that, that there's now a second socket connect message. So now both the gazer and the disk are working together with the server. So now that the smart dual disk and the smart dual gazer are talking to each other, the next thing you need to do is in the gazer hub, just look around on the ground. Uh, and you'll see that a yellow marker appears as soon as a surface is detected. When you found a location that you want to place a dual field on, just click the screen and the yellow marker will disappear and it will be replaced with a dual mat. This is static, uh, you can't change the location yet, that is something we still have to add. Um, but if you restart the app, you'll get another shot at placing it right. But assuming that you've set it right, uh, what you can now do is use a dual disk to place cards on the field. And then when you place a monster in a monster zone, you can see it come to life using the dual gazer. So that's how it all works. Um, what's actually happening is that the dual disk is sending events to the server. And then the gazer is listening to the server to see if any events are incoming. So if you move a card from the dual disk to a field, it will send an event to the server. And that event will then be sent to the gazer. And that's how it's all working. So congratulations on setting it up. Uh, if you have any problems, definitely make sure to let me know so I can look into it. So it might still be a bit complex, as I said in the beginning, but we're looking into making it easier and easier for you. Normally, you wouldn't have to hassle with uh, the IP address and the port or hosting the server locally. And that's something that should all happen in the cloud. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, for the people who don't have an Android device, um, thanks to our Patreon supporters, normally we should be able to get an Apple developer license in March. So I just want to give a shout out to all the people who are supporting us on Patreon. You're definitely helping us out and you're making this all possible. So thank you very much for that. Um, if you didn't know we have a Patreon campaign, the link is in the description. Please go check it out. And also make sure to follow us on Twitter and on Discord to make sure you stay up to date with the latest news and information. Everyone stay safe and I hope you have an awesome day.